Hey there, I'm Bogdan Budaka and welcome to my channel. Thank you for joining me for another mind workout. I hope that you're staying indoors and that you keep safe and you keep learning. So today let's go through another little problem. We will be using the Java programming language and of course whenever you feel that you can continue on your own, please pause the video and do so. So today we will, we will try to check if two strings are anagrams. Okay, so let's dig right in. I'm gonna put that down. R2 strings anagrams. Okay, so what's an anagram? You can look that up. Uh, basically, it's using the same bunch of letters but arranged in a different manner. Okay, one example would be silent and listen. We have the same letters, the exact same letters, but they're just arranged differently. Okay, we have a bunch more examples down here, like rail safety fairy tale. These are two worded examples. Roast beef eat for BSE, debit card, bad credit, and so on. Single worded, evil, vile, angered, enraged, and so on. Yep, so this is pretty much it. This basically tells us if two strings are the same bunch of letters, but they're just scrambled or arranged in a different manner. Okay? So let's start and make our own little algorithm. So, how could we proceed in doing this? Uh, Maybe our first step could be to actually check the length of the strings. If, if they're not the same length, then, then we know that we need to stop right there. Okay? They need to be the same length. So this could be our first step. Check the two strings. Spell that out. Check if the two strings are of the same length. Okay? And then what could we do? Um, so one implementation would be, and you will see that we'll be using a bunch of helper methods from Java, and this will make everything pretty straightforward. And um, yeah, shouldn't shouldn't be too too difficult for us. But one implementation, what we could do next is basically sort out the strings, and you will see that we can't do that based on the string class. There's no helper method to to do that, but we can transform the strings to array of to arrays of characters, for example, and then sort them out alphabetically. Okay. So the next step would be transform strings to arrays of characters, for example. Our, our elements will be actually the characters of the of the strings, and then the next step could be to iterate through the strings, the, actually the, the arrays now and check the element from the same index, okay? And compare them, and if they're the same element, basically we'll know that once we iterate through the, the, through the arrays, we'll know that, that we have anagrams, okay? So I hope that makes sense. I'm gonna put that down, iterate through the arrays, and compare the same index element, okay? So let's start implementing that code. So here, for example, we will have, I don't know, string s1, this will be equal to something, and then string s2, and this will be equal to something. So let's have a, another, another function here, another method, static, this will return a boolean, uh, anagram check, for example, anagram check. And we will pass to it the two strings. <coughs> Sorry about that. String one and string two. Oh, S1 and S2. Sorry. Okay, doke. So the first step would be to actually check their length. So S1 dot length. So already we're, us we're using a helper function. It is not equal to S2 dot length. Then we return false okay so if this is the case then we know that we should stop right there okay so there's no need to continue after this what what can we do and as we said we will transform the strings to array of characters okay so here we will char string uh, we'll need uppercase there string one to array an array equals to s1 to char array okay so this is the helper method on the string and actually we can duplicate this line control d just change the numbers here string 2 to array 
string two to char array. Now, if we have our arrays, we could actually sort them out. So here, we're checking length. Here, we're transforming to arrays. Okie doke. Here, we will be sorting. Can we do this? Arrays dot sort, and here we will pass s one to string array. Okay, we could double this down to b, and now we will have our our arrays sorted. Okay, so I hope this makes sense so far. Once we have this, we could actually start iterating through the arrays and compare the same indexed element. Okay, so for Let's initialize, let's initialize an i integer equal to zero. i will be less than s1 dot length because they're both the same length now. Actually, they're both the same length if we do get to line 27. And the code didn't stop here with the first check. Okay. So and now compare s1 to string array of element i not equal to string 2 to array element i we will, we will return false and here if that's not the case overall from the function we will return true okay so this is where we iterate through the arrays we check uh, each uh, each the same indexed element against its equivalent from the other string and then return false if they're not equal or true if they, they actually are equal okay so let's do a little if here if anagram check s1 s2 just use the same name convention given for our for our function definition here and here as well but it's just the same naming convention and if this is true we will print out Anagrams, for example, else we will print out not anagrams. Okay. So, okay, so let's give this a check. Let's use that basic example. Oh, sorry about that. This and silent. Shift F10, let's run this. I've actually had some issues with the Coretto, the Amazon uh, JDK, and I'm using Open JDK now. Okay, so we get anagrams. So this is good. Let's botch this up a bit. Let's see what we get. Not anagrams. Okay, so this seems like it's working. Um, now about the two edge cases, I think maybe you you spotted them already. What if, for example, we have a capital letter? Actually, it doesn't even need to be this one. It could be S, for example. I have like capital S here. Then what happens? We get not anagrams, okay? The one thing we could do is actually transform the two strings to lowercase, to all lowercase, before we start any kind of operations on them. Okay? We could actually implement this here. So s1 equals to s1 to lowercase, then duplicate this down and do the same for s2. Okay, so this should it should remove this edge case. Anagrams. Okay, good. But what if, for example, and let's take one of these two worded examples like bad credit. Where are we? Here we go. Bad credit, and this is like I could just write it down debit card. Okay, so this should work because anagrams, right? Because we have only one blank space, but what if we have two? So I did one more here after bad credit, and if that's the case, then we get not anagrams, okay? Because basically the length would not be the same even if it's blank space or anything else the one thing we could do is actually remove any blank space again we have another helper function on the string array 
and we can string it here with a dot notation and we can use replace and here we pass what we're replacing so it's basically a blank you can see it here in the double quotes and we will replace it with nothing okay and do the same for the second one space blank space with nothing okay so this should remove any blank spaces so if we try it now this this is how we can focus on the letters only on valid characters okay so anagrams have another example um, angered let's have a space here and enraged and let's have a capital d here let's see if this checks out anagrams okay so i think this is it yep so i hope this was as fun as much fun for you as it was for me i'm looking forward to your comments in the comment section and if this was in any way interesting please give the video a like and subscribe and uh, i'll see you around